Oh, I'm reading about migraines, little kitty. Oh, no, no, no. Migraines are not just simple headaches, but a way more complex type of condition. Yes, so in today's episode, let us delve into this puzzling disorder and answer what are migraines? Zoom in! So far, we used to think migraines are throbbing headaches that nearly 33% of women and 13% of men experience during their lifetime. However, recent studies show that even though a super painful headache is what most people connect with migraine, they don't always come with a headache. Yes, migraine is a much more complex neurological event that can break various symptoms such as blind spots in your vision, sensitivity to light and sound, fatigue, and disrupted sleep. So, what's going on in your brain during a migraine? Well, to know that, we need to go back a few days before the migraine hits and our body begins to show signals such as having mood swings, yawning a lot, nausea or even feeling really thirsty. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, a migraine might be on the way. But what leads to these warning signs in the first place? It has to do with a special part of our brain called the hypothalamus that usually controls functions like balancing hormones, maintaining sleep patterns and water regulation. In short, it has a lot of work to do in the brain. But before a migraine, it becomes hyperactive and starts working harder. And just an hour or so before the migraine sets in, some people may also get another warning sign called migraine aura, which can make you see strange things, feel tingling in your body, or even have trouble speaking. This happens due to a change happening in your cell membranes, the protective layers of your brain cells and leads to changes in the brain activities and blood flow across the brain. Scientists aren't really sure what leads to changes in these cell layers. But what we know is that it can spread quickly across the brain surface leading to various aura symptoms depending on which part of the brain it affects. For instance, if it reaches the visual cortex, it might make you see strange things or have blind spots in your vision. And when the big headache part finally comes, a special nerve in your face called the trigeminal nerve gets involved. Usually this nerve helps you feel things like touch and warmth of your skin. But during a migraine, it starts transmitting pain signals and becomes extra sensitive. This means that things that usually wouldn't hurt like bending, sneezing or even exposing to light and sound can now cause pain. People with migraines are also more likely to have other conditions like depression, panic disorder, sleep problems and strokes. However, there's still much we don't understand about migraines. All we know is that a migraine is not just a headache. It's a brain mystery we are still solving, like putting together a big puzzle. But if you experience any of the said symptoms frequently, it's vital to rush to your doctor ASAP to know how to manage this condition. Trivia time! Did you know that if left untreated, migraine can last up to 72 hours? 
also in chronic migraine a person may have migraine symptoms for more than 15 days in a month sketching time today's sketch of the day goes to dhruv desh pande hope you learned something crucial today until next time it's me dr pinox zooming out Oh, why are you renaming math to migraine, Kitty? That's so painful for Kitty. Never mind.